look, I've got a doggy. Doggy. Hello, how's it going? This is so funny. Soap has a real thing about dog and dog hairs. And now we've got a dog running around the house for 24 hours. Any excuse, that's all it takes. Oh no. Yeah, I mean like, how old am I really? Yes, I do wonder. I often wonder that. Time to kick it old school. Jasper just had a little bit of an incident. We told him not to walk on puddles with frozen ice over the top because if his foot goes through, he'll get very cold. He didn't listen. So now he's got Wellington boots full of very cold, icy, muddy water. Oh, delightful. Oh, it's foot soaked through all up, it's all good. Right, come on Jasper, don't go walking in any more muddy puddles, please. Not ideal electric skateboarding weather today, actually. Too damp and muddy. Nice sunset though. Jasper, you'd think once bitten, twice shy, wouldn't you? I'm going to have a turn and skate. Here we go. Ready? Ready? That's it. Hold on, hold on. Try and balance on your own. I'll keep your hands, so if I have to, I've got you. Good job. These hands are colder than mine and mine are freezing. No, I know, I know. Poor kid. Obviously the most important bit of camera gear that you can have is your primary shooting camera. Which for me is the Canon G7X. It's not too dirty. I think we got away with it just about. Today's videos are all about cameras. Okay. Which is why I want to do a comparison yeah. of the various different cameras. And what are you going to film that on? Uh, the various different cameras. Okay. <laughs> That's why I'm going to get all five of them together yeah. and then to just talk through what the differences are in terms of how I use each one and what it's sort of good at and what it's not good at because they're all basically better at one thing or another. So picking which one's the right one for a given job is half the challenge really. Yeah. So you've got three GoPros and one of them's a Hero 4 but you've also got the Hero 5. The main advantage of the Hero 4 is that it fits in my gimbal and also it's got an external mic which is absolutely amazing a little ceremonic thing the hero 5's main benefit is it's got decent sound whilst at the same time being really properly waterproof and with some image stabilization as well built into the software so that's where that stands out which is why if it was raining right now i'd be holding up a hero 5. yes the problem with the hero 5 is you have to be so careful if you move your fingers even a tiny amount on the external case pick up the vibration yep you just get all that sound straight through the mics we're now officially recording so no no inflammatory comments no, so no see i'm gonna have to beat that out now now i've got my entire kit of cameras all pointing at us now so i like to think that at least one of them is taking a decent shot of us that one that one always takes a decent shot. That's the Canon 70D. It is a fantastic camera, but it only shoots in 30 frames per second. So that's the downside of that. So if it's action and you're outside and you want that super silky smooth 60 frames per second, not that camera. That one. <laughs> that one does 60 <laughs> frames per second. And the nice thing about that little thing is I've got it set to 2.7K, so it's automatically image stabilizing a bit. So if I pick it up and move it around, it's actually going to still look reasonable. I can walk along with this and it's okay. For the real action shots, you can't beat this one. Hero 4 Black with a gimbal. With this, you can move it around like crazy and you're going to get a pretty stable image. It's also got a nice external mic, this one, so in all likelihood, this will be the one that I'm using for all of the sound. Is that your skateboarding camera? Um, usually not, actually. It's more, it's better for running. So I'm doing this charity run, and this, I'm going to use the gimbal for that, I think, because it will take the, the jolts out of the steps quite well. The image stabilization on this, which is the camera I use most, this is the Canon G7X Mark I. It is an absolutely fantastic camera. I love this thing. 
it's got amazing image stabilization. Considering it's a small camera, I mean, it's not, you know, it's not incredible, incredible. You can walk along with it though, and it's fine. That camera looks so good, it deserves a hip pouch. Can you ask your viewers if there's anything else you can wear other than a hip pouch? No. Fanny pack? <laughs> yes, I could wear one of those. The point is that I've, I've tried a bunch of different things and the reality is nothing is easier than just having a camera to hand whenever you want it. And you know, I've, I've tried having it in my bag and getting it out and all that happens is I miss a bunch of shots or it takes me twice as long to get into the car every morning. You know, that's, that's the problem. Yeah. <laughs> Now we're not drinking alcohol during the filming, thank That's you very much. Okay. Responsible um, filming. Yeah, exactly. Responsible yeah. filming. Here are four session. It's a great sort of, you know, GP camera, throw it around, no problem. It's not gonna cost a lot of money if you break it. Chuck it in the sink. Yeah, waterproof. The sound is okay. It's not groundbreaking, but it's okay. Only does 1080p though. And I think it maxes out at 30 frames per second at 1080p. Correct, so it does. 60 frames a second at 720. Really? Which is as useful as having a chocolate teapot yeah. in hell. Right, so I'll pop that back where it came from. Uh, which one have we not talked about yet? Just before I forget, G7X, that does do 60 frames per second at 1080p, which is fantastic. I can't put videos up on YouTube at anything above 1080p because it already takes my mobile phone two hours to get uh, HD's blog post up. So these are the cameras that I use. Generally speaking, this one, because it's waterproof and has a bit of stabilization, is my go-to when it rains. This one is my go-to almost all the time because it's small and easy and convenient and you just can't say no to that. This one's great for the serious action and also when I'm in the car I use this to shoot inwards into the car. How's the microphone connected into it? It's got a old fashioned USB thing in there. You know, the, the oh, yeah. mic, the really angular mini, one. Yes, the yeah. mini one. It's, it's very old, but this mic is fantastic. I've never seen it in the wind, in serious, ridiculous wind. This is the best mic I've got. Better than the dead cat, better than the micro muffs. So yeah, there we go. I think that's probably all of the camera gear that I tend to use. I should use this camera more because it's amazing. The best thing about it is the autofocus. It is so sharp and so quick. Whereas this camera does take a little bit longer to get there on autofocus. The GoPros, do they even focus? They're just a really flat image. You know, they're fine if you have to use them, but you're never gonna get that same bokeh effect, is that what it's called? Yeah. The, yeah. the background blur. You don't get that kind of effect. You don't have any kind of real, interesting, creative control. So which one's your favorite camera? Well, definitely the SLR, because uh, I'm a big SLR fan. Just trying to look on the lens there to see what it goes, see what it goes down to. You've got, yeah, so it goes down to f-stop 4.5. Uh, so it's a, not a great lens. Yeah, that's not the, uh, that's not as good as some of the, uh, the smaller kind of more prime lenses, but certainly where, these are probably seven on the uh, GoPro. Yeah. I don't know, somebody else will probably be able to comment on it more, but yeah, flat images, a little bit of depth of field. And that's actually got slightly bigger depth of field than that one, actually. That's got a good lens on it. Yeah, you that, can't yeah. change it, so it's a good thing it has a good lens yeah. on it. Yeah, down to 1.8, it can be trying to focus on the background, which is great, but that's not what the subject is. Yeah, that almost never makes that mistake. And when it does, as soon as it realizes it's made a mistake, it can focus back on you really quickly. Yeah. That's, the, that's the fundamental difference. The thing about that is once it's on the background, it actually takes about two seconds to yeah. get the focus back to your face. So. Oh, Jasper, come, come, come join, come join, come join. Look, 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 what have we got here? What are these? Cameras. We've got lots of cameras, haven't we, Jasper? Which one's your favorite? The big one. The big the one. The big one. There's a surprise. Jasper likes the big camera. Fantastic. Ma, ma. You want to hold it? Yeah. Be careful. Uh, my camera is really heavy. Now this is a great way of demonstrating that even a three camera stability. Get a good shot. Camera stability. So camera with a gimbal. <laughs> Camera next week. Walk up to the doggy and say hello and then bring the camera back to me. You guys even better choose.
Hang on, Kay. Oh, yeah. There we go. Is he in vlogger training? Yes, he is in vlogger training. <laughs> What? Now, one thing I will just say quickly about Seven this gimbal, it's fairly reasonably cheap. It's a Zion yes. Chinese brand. What I like about it is it's quiet Seven. enough that I can actually use the audio from it. Whereas I did have a cheaper previous year's version of this and the gimbal made too much of a whine, so I had to get rid of that. Okay, I think we're gonna call this to an end because I've got lots of footage and I think a five camera multi-angle clip in Final Cut Pro X. Is Probably going to be something like 200 gigabytes worth of processing. Yeah. I hope you all enjoyed today's vlog post. If you have, remember to like it, share it, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you tomorrow for the next instalment of my daily vlog. And remember, never work with children or animals. Thank you, Jasper. No, I think the cameras are all going bye bye now, monkey boy. Bye, you bye. need it? Yes, Jasper? I, I need you yes. to put it on my side. No, when it's, when it's your birthday, I'll get you a proper camera, okay?